Well, howdy, I'm Matt Reefy from sugarpiefarmhouse.com and I am so excited that you're here because you know why? Because it's fall and how wonderful is that? I can't even believe it's already here, but it is. And I can't wait to share with you some of my fall decorating ideas. And I'm really hoping they're going to inspire you to make your home warm and cozy for this wonderful and glorious season. So I really want to encourage you to really celebrate the season, to really sort of embrace the glorious wonderfulness. Is that a word? Wonderfulness? <laughs> well, it is now. Wonderfulness of this season. And so how you do that is just pick one thing that you can plan and look forward to. One thing to do that will really make you so excited and so joyful about this season. So like one of the things would be, you know, go to the pumpkin patch with your kids or your grandkids. This is something that I did ever since my kids were babies. And it's always been a wonderful thing that we would look forward to and we'd take lots of pictures and just create so many wonderful memories. So that's a very easy thing to do. Another thing would be just grab a friend and go down to a local coffee shop and just um, get yourself your little pumpkin spice latte or you know whatever you enjoy drinking like hot cider or hot cocoa or something and just have a lovely time with a friend. Something that you can plan and look forward to. Um, let's see, what else? How about go for a walk in the woods? with your kids or grandkids and, and collect some acorns and leaves and twigs, bring them back and you know put them out on a tray or a little bowl or something and just talk about the beauty of God's creation. How easy is that and what a wonderful memory that would be. How about plan an evening where you're gonna make popcorn and maybe some cookies, some hot cocoa or hot cider and sit and watch like a cozy movie like Little Women or Pride and Prejudice or whatever movie that just warms your heart. Watch it. Plan, plan a wonderful evening. Light a candle or put a fire in the fireplace and just enjoy and, and really think about how wonderful it is that it's cold and crisp and blustery outside but you're inside nice and warm and what a wonderful thing to be thankful for and um, a wonderful memory with a friend or your husband or your family. That's just one other idea that you can do. How about making apple pie? Or how about making apple butter? I will leave two links below for you. One for my candy apple butter and the other one for my apple pie. It's a butter crunch apple pie. It's really delicious. So I'll have the, the recipes linked below for you. And you can just head over to my blog, which is at sugarpiefarmhouse.com and um, print off those recipes and make them. And I'm telling you, your house is gonna smell amazing and delicious. All right, so those are just a few ideas. I'm sure you can think of many, many more. Just pick one, you know, don't make it such a big thing. Just pick one thing and, and do that. And as you are doing this one thing, just really think about how wonderful it is that you're with family, you're with friends, um, and just the, the beauty that God's created during this time of year. So one of the things that I really wanted to share with you was this treasure that I found at a vintage market here in my hometown. So it came from 417 Vintage Market in Branson, Missouri, that's where I live. And it's a darling shop, I love it. Okay, so this one day I went in there and I found this oil painting. And it was very, very charming. And I took it off the wall. I thought, oh, I love this. I'm looking at the price tag. You guys, it was $11, $11. I'm looking at this painting and it has this darling little white farmhouse and the smoke is coming out of the chimney. And then if you look over to the right, there's this um, hay field and there's a farmer out there and he's raking up big bales of hay. And then beyond him, you can see this little white chapel. And then there's barns and then there's a water pump. And oh my goodness, it's like everything that I love. 
<laughs> and so I'm looking at this, I'm like, um, it's $11. So I went down to the counter and I said, is this price tag correct? Because, yeah. And so um, she's like, yeah, it's correct. She's the lady that has the booth. She wants to sell things quick. So she, you know, keeps the prices low. I'm like, wow, that's incredible. And I'm thinking, what in the name of Corn on the Cob is going on here? Because this is an oil painting and it's $11. Okay, so I know that's a funny phrase, um, <laughs> but it's from a movie, and I think the movie is called um, Because of Win Dixie, Darling Little Movie, and somebody in the movie says, what in the name of Corn on the Cob? I just thought that was adorable, so I just say it all the time now. Anywho, um, moving on. <laughs> so I can't wait to share with you this painting. Okay, so I go home, and I'm looking at this painting and there's a name at the bottom and the date. So the date was 1956 and the name was Mamie Falk. And so I Googled her name. You guys, she is like known as the Grandma Moses of Minnesota. And so I was like shocked and thrilled of course and like Oh my goodness, it's crazy. She was born in 1896. And so I have this beautiful painting I can't wait to share with you. Um, where I put it and how I decorated around it. And it's really a treasure. So always keep your eyes open for those unexpected things that come along your way. And I just felt like it was just a blessing from the Lord. He just knew that would just thrill my heart and make joy bells ring in my heart. So anyway, and yes, joy bells are ringing in my heart. So <laughs> anywho, um, yeah, I'm excited to share with you. All right, so I just wanna share one more thing with you, and that is my Pumpkin Pickin' and Hay Rides book. It's an ebook, you guys, so it doesn't come printed. It's something that you would print out, but once you print it out, you have it forever. And you guys, it's just filled with all kinds of things that you can do with your family. Um, there's recipes, there's memory making ideas, there's um, decorating ideas, there's, um, I'm telling you, it's just jam packed. And lots of nostalgic pictures, um, old fashioned pictures. If you love everything old fashioned and nostalgic and cozy and homey, gotta get this book okay so I'm gonna leave a link below for you and then I wanted to tell you that I have an Amazon shop it's a fall um, shop I actually have several but the one that I want to tell you about is called happy fall y'all shop and it's um, an Amazon shop and I'll have a link below but some of the things that you'll see um, in my home decor tour I'm going to link below that shop and you'll see um, where you can get some of those things because I always get questions, where do you get this and where do you get that? So this makes it easy. All right, well, let's get going. I can't wait to share with you and just sit back and relax and enjoy my happy fall home tour. Well, the theme for my entryway began with this rusty pumpkin farm sign. It's a reproduction, but looks like it's from the 1800s. So I ran with that old timey feel. I nestled the little pumpkin in a berry basket on a soft nest of hay surrounded by more cheerful and chubby white pumpkins. A sweet little blackbird has his eye on some yummy pumpkin seeds. Don't you think it's so adorable that God thought of pumpkins? corn stalks gathered and standing in all their golden glory in an old milk can. How farmy can you get? Fresh picked sweet little pumpkins lined up in a row inside a hand pie safe with jars of salty pumpkin seeds waiting to be munched on. This vintage log cabin cookie jar reminds me of a little house on the prairie where there is always a fire glowing on the hearth in the fall and winter to warm the faces, hands, and hearts of the Ingalls family. 
When I found this vintage Johnson Brothers dinner plate years ago, I fell in love with this endearing farm scene. Can you spy the cute little turkey? I love adding an element of warmth and light to my home decor and these battery candles look so real and cozy without a fire hazard. Look for the link below for my favorite candles. This very old sepia photograph really adds to my 1800s feel, a moment frozen in time of a beautiful family standing by the barn in the brisk air. There are patches of snow on the ground. How fascinating it would be to know who they were, how they lived, loved, and laughed. On top of the old tin embossed shelf, I added a bramble of twigs and vines and white berries to give it kind of a woodsy primitive feel to my little pumpkin farm scene. This old timey autumn scene is the first thing that you see when you walk into my front door. So I just wanna say welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. Here's a little peek of the fireplace mantle that my father built for me. I put it in the hallway to my bedroom so that I can see it every day. Here's a little peek of my bedroom with cozy touches of fall. There's no place like home, especially in the fall. This year I found this darling canvas alphabet chart that truly looks vintage. It's in my fall shop that I linked below. Anywho, it seems like I always have a little house in the prairie on my brain. <laughs> so I created a little going back to school vignette complete with a slate chalkboard, the door to an 1800s icebox, old school books, a vintage lantern that I put a battery operated candle in, and an enamel lunch pail, which I would imagine carried a biscuit with a slice of ham and a bright red apple. Burnt orange autumn leaves was the finishing touch, evidence that autumn had arrived, bringing with it brisk air as sweet and crisp as a caramel apple. Y'all, this is the painting I was telling you about. It was painted by Mamie Falk, who was born in 1896 in Minnesota. Look at that darling white farmhouse with the smoke coming out of the chimney, which tells the story that Ma was keeping the home fires burning in her snug little home. She probably had supper started on the old wood stove And there's Pa. It's harvest time, so he's raking up bushels of wheat 
to bring to the old mill house to grind into flour so Ma can bake her homemade bread. And just beyond Pa sits the sweet white chapel. Come Sunday morning, they'll be putting on their Sunday best and heading over to praise the Lord through some hymn singing and hearing the Word of God preached by Reverend Alden. The painting came framed, all for $11, mind you. I layered it with this chippy frame that I've used many times before. I imagined that Ma would be bringing Pa his lunch in this white enamel pail, and a slice of pie was waiting for him to enjoy after supper. I think Ma was all about keeping home cozy to comfort and nurture her family. And that's the way home should be. Elizabeth George said, if I can just get home, everything will be all right. What a blessing it would be if every member of your family and mine knew that there was one place on earth where everything will be all right. Proverbs 31, 27 says, she looks well to the ways of her household. Let's do our best to create a home that our family feels loved in. Well, I think it's tradition that I always have to show my Susan Branch calendar. Y'all know I love it so much I want to marry it. I'm getting ready to order my new one for 2020. I created this vignette in my mudroom around this darling print painted by the super talented Roxanne Spradlin. I got it at Kirkland's. I pulled some of the elements from the art piece to reflect all of its fall goodness. A mini hay bale on top of a red plaid picnic basket, pumpkins, and this darling old red toy truck with more hay bales loaded in the back. Makes me smile every day. My dear, dear friend Katina from the Vintage Housewife, who also used to be my old next door neighbor, gave me the idea of putting sweet little picnic baskets in the cubbies of my baking center. I filled each one with a pumpkin and a spray of wheat. I also filled this vintage market scale with lots of pumpkins on a nest of golden raffia. Thank you, Katina, for the idea. I love it. I love decorating my old farm table for the seasons, and I usually have the chicken sisters hanging out underneath. Every fall, I love filling this 100-year-old pie safe with cozy, homey goodness. coffee pot filled with leaves, little pumpkins, candlelight, a sweet turkey bowl. Tucked inside my pie safe are some cookie mixes and some pumpkin spice syrup for pancakes, waffles, and even your coffee.
I even have a cowbell to ring when it's supper time. You need to get one of those, it's so fun. And this big old bowl, this is my stuffing bowl, ready for Thanksgiving. I recently refreshed my little coffee bar, so I'd love to show you around. My daughter recently painted the inside of my cupboard white. It used to be a honey color. I love how fresh and clean it looks. I wanted my little coffee bar to feel cozy and welcoming. It has some fall touches that will be super easy to change out to Christmas decor come December. My three tier mug rack is from Kirkland's and the mugs are from TJ Maxx and HomeGoods. Now I can't wait to show you my favorite find. So as you can see, my coffee maker sits under the cupboard so I can't open the lid to pour the water in. So instead of dragging the coffee maker out each time, I found this tray that rolls out beautifully by pushing down this tab. It's so easy now to make a pot of coffee. Once I pour the water in, it's so easy just to press down that tab once again and roll the coffee maker back underneath the cupboard. Easy as pie. This rolling tray is so inexpensive, I decided to get another one for my Keurig, too. Just press the tab and roll it out. So easy. And when you're done, you just roll it back. I'll leave a link below just in case you need one of these. I love putting things in my kitchen that make my heart happy as I'm cooking and cleaning. You know, as homemakers, we set the tone in the home, so we should set the stage with beauty and coziness to help us hum a happy tune. Oh, the Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and the rain and the apple seed. The Lord is good to me. Those were the lyrics to the Johnny Appleseed song that our family sings around the dinner table. One of my favorite new things is this little house cookbook. Talk about all the cozy feels. 
I want to live in this book, y'all. Let's take a peek. Not only does this have hearty recipes, but adorable quotes and little snippets from Little House on the Prairie books. The fire merrily crackled, a fat duck roasted, and the cornbread baked. Everything was snug and cozy again. Pumpkin pie was part of every special dinner in the Little House series, whether for threshers, for a social or fair, or for a holiday celebration. For breakfast, there were pancakes, and Ma made a pancake man for each one of the children. It was exciting to watch her turn the whole little man over quickly and carefully on a hot griddle. When it was done, she put it smoking hot on the plate. The bread sponge was lifting the lid of the pan. Ma hurriedly floured the breadboard and kneaded the dough. Then she got dinner. She was putting the pan of light biscuits in the oven when Pa came driving the wagon up the hill. Isn't that just the coziest? Well, I also want to show you this really cute farmy book holder. And it's the perfect spot for my little house cookbook. I'll leave the links below for both. The cheerful, joyous season, the autumn time is come. With song and shout, we welcome the golden harvest home. The weather is just now starting to get cooler and soon we'll have the first cozy fire of the season. I'm so excited to show you this beautiful burlap sign that my dear sugar pie friend, Jen, made for me. What a blessing. Autumn skies and pumpkin pies, the perfect sentiment for this pie loving gal. I'll leave Jen's link to her Instagram account, Milk and Honey Mercantile. Her home decor is absolutely scrumptious. I wanted to share this bunting that I cut out out of one piece of fabric. You cut triangles out, leaving one inch at the top, which holds it all together. No sewing, super easy. If you were to ask what is most important in a home, I would say the love of the Lord and making happy memories. Well, thank you so much for joining me today on my fall home tour. I really hope it inspired you to make your home nice and warm and cozy. And I'm really hoping that you're encouraged to do that one thing that is going to help you celebrate fall. I'm telling you, it's going to fill your heart with joy when you have something fun to look forward to, something that you can do with a friend or, or family. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful fall. I hope that you do that one thing to celebrate this glorious season and to really count your blessings. Well, God bless your darling heart and y'all come back now, you hear?